Hello, my name is Levi Hernandez, and today I'm going to talk about Roger Sternberg's Triangle Theory of Love. In Robert Sternberg's Triangle Theory of Love, there is three main components. They are one, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy is characterized or described as a closeness, a bond, or a feeling of attachment towards the individual. Passion is a drive for romance or a sexual drive for that person. And commitment is the decision to maintain the love over a long term. Uh, with the three, there is a multitude of combinations of those, uh, and we will go through them. The first combination is non-love. This is what we feel towards strangers or people that we do not know. Uh, we don't have any closeness or bond to them. We don't have any passion towards them or any commitment to anything with them. And that is just characterized as non-love. Then you have liking, which is what we genuinely feel towards our friends. This is something that we have, um, we've bonded with them, uh, but that's about it. Then you have infatuated love. Infatuated love is passion only. This is something that can be characterized by maybe an affair. People who have a drive for romance with that person, but that's it. There is no commitment to the love or maintaining it, and they do not feel a closeness or a bond. They're only drive driven by, you know, being romantic with that person. Then you have empty love. Empty love is characterized by commitment only. Uh, we can see this in marriages who they say may have fizzled out. There is no more closeness, no more bond. Uh, they do not have any passion. They don't have a drive to be romantic with each other or to uh, seek out those sexual encounters, yet they stay committed to the relationship for the kids or um, any religious or um, cultural backgrounds. Then you have romantic love. Romantic love is characterized, characterized by intimacy and passion. And there is an example of when you first get to um, your loved ones, when you first meet them and you start dating, you have a lot of intimacy, you feel close to them, you've gone on a couple dates, you have that passion to be with them sexually, but yet you haven't quite yet established a commitment to the relationship. And so that's what we would characterize as a romantic love. Then you have compassionate love. This is intimacy and commitment. This is what we can witness in a long-term marriage um, where couples no longer date each other. They still feel a closeness to each other. They still love each other. They have still made a commitment to the long-term love, but they no longer have the passion, the drive for romance. Uh, this is where we can find uh, affairs to start to form. If I don't get it from you, I'll find someone else who has that. Um, then you have fictitious love. Fictitious love is passion and commitment. This is the best uh, summarized by the Las Vegas marriages. You meet somebody, you're over the moon for them, uh, they're so great and wonderful, but you um, don't have any closeness or bond to them because you've just barely met them, but yet you've, you know, you've already made a commitment to the long-term love and you are driven with a large amount of passion for that person. And last but not least is consummate love, which is the most complete form. It is all three of them. Uh, it's also the hardest form to maintain obviously for um this is also what robert sternberg characterized as the perfect couple and this is the one that we should strive for the most but as i said it is also the hardest for us to achieve and to maintain you can 
kind of bounce between them, but it is the most fulfilling love. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.